it isn't a stretch to say that Sino will become the strongest unit once he arrives in Genshin Impact in the next couple bands. Here's one. Sino, the Electro Polearm DPS who can fuse with the spirit of the Jackal, has entered Tavat during the perfect storm for Electro. With the recent additions of Dendro and his associated reactions, Electro is now top dog of the DPS charts. Adding into the mix that Sino also scales significantly off of Elemental Mastery, and we've got a reaction chaining damage dealing god. Sino shares some similarities with Zhao in his base form with his elemental skill allowing him to dash around the field, but unlike Xiao, he does not get stacks to use it in succession. However, Sino's burst though, combining Razor and Raiden Shogun is the best way to describe it. He fuses with his Jackal Spirit, becoming cloaked in Electro and able to bust out crazy rabbit moves that deal massive damage with every attack and elemental skill usage. This cloaked form is known as the Pack Sworn Path Clearer. Also, those animations that Sino gets are sick. Sino's elemental skill evolves in his burst form and becomes something called Mortuary Rites, which deals massive electro AoE damage and extends the duration of Sino's burst by 4 seconds and getting a shortened elemental skill cooldown of 3 seconds while in his burst state. The increase in his elemental burst duration is significant because Sino's burst form costs 80 energy, has a 20 second cooldown and initially only lasts 10 seconds but can be extended all the way up to 18 seconds, meaning a total of 2 casts of his elemental skill. This leaves Sino with a downtime of 2 seconds if he has the proper energy recharge and energy production with his team comp. Another thing to note is that while in his burst form, Sino gets to play a mini game where from time to time Sino will enter an end seer stance. There's a visual indicator for when he is in his end seer stance and it is a millennium eye that appears on screen. When this happens, the player just has to tap the elemental skill and boom! Sino activates his judication effect which increases his elemental skill damage and fires off 3 dust stalker bolts that deal a percentage of Sino's attack yes! as electro damage. Sino is way more than just a Razor clone, but better because he's a 5 star. No, that's not the case. He has more team flexibility and interactivity between his elemental skill and burst because of the way his kit is designed, and is more focused on elemental damage as opposed to Razor being designed around dealing physical damage and being a 4 star, easily obtainable unit. With that said though, are you excited for Sino? Let me know in the comments below, and if you found this video helpful so far, give it a like and consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon for even more content like this. Let's continue. One of Sino's passive authority over the nine bows gives his normal attack damage while in his elemental burst and his dust stalker bolt damage elemental mastery scaling. This alone doesn't seem too busted, but add to the fact that things like hyper bloom scale off of the person who proc the reactions as elemental mastery. Oh man, Sino is about to put in some work. Oh yeah, and Sino's burst also gives him a flat 100 elemental mastery. Now that we understand how Sino works, there's a couple of strong choices for artifact sets that he can use. Here are my recommendations. The newest artifact set, Gilded Dreams, seem to be tailor-made for Sino, giving a big boost in elemental mastery, which Sino scales off of, and also providing even further boosts depending on how your team composition is made. Some theory crafters are running around with 3 Electro and 1 Dendro for Sino, giving a boost of 28% attack and 50 elemental mastery, while I would recommend something like a 2 Electro, 1 Dendro, and 1 Hydro or Kazuha as another relevant team comp to consider. This team composition would mean that Gilded Dreams would provide 14% attack boost with 150 elemental mastery. And my last recommendation is going to be Thundering Fury. The value of this artifact set has skyrocketed with the arrival of Dendro, being able to increase aggravate damage by 20% and hyper bloom damage by 40%. Whenever the user of this artifact procs an electro based elemental reaction, the elemental skill cooldown is decreased by 1 second. Considering that Sino's elemental skill already has a low cooldown, this could be redundant or it could be really, really fun, allowing Sino to use his elemental skill up to 9 times during his elemental burst. And that begs the question, how are you building Sino? Is it going to be any of these three sets or something in between or just something totally entirely different? Hit me with your crazy build ideas in the comments below. Alright, let's move on to weapons. First up, let's go over the premium options for a generalist Sino. Obviously, Sino's signature poem will be his best in slot, providing crit rate and a bonus attack scaling dependent on elemental mastery. This one is not only great for Sino as a whole, but any poem characters that want to use the Gilded Dreams artifact or build heavily into Elemental Mastery like Zhang Ling. Another good option for Sino is actually the two Standard Banner 5-star polearms, 
because both of them give the highest basic attack value for 5 star weapons, but both of them provide meaningful substats like crit rate and energy recharge depending on which way you want to build Sino. I actually have a preference for the Skyward Spine because it offers a lot of things that Sino really likes. Crit rate bonus, check. No more attack speed bonus, check. Energy recharge, check. And if you have neither of these three but still want to amp up your Sino, consider Staff of Homa. It's another great choice being an OP weapon in general regardless of who uses it. It provides a lot of survivability and damage for what it is. For free to play and free mem options, Sino pairs best with these pull arms. Deathmatch is a solid option for any DPS unit. Other 4 star pull arms can include the Black Cliff Pull, which gives you crit damage as a substat. Although it has a low basic attack, it does give you an attack increase every time you kill an enemy up to 3 stacks. Or you could go with the Moon Piercer, a new pull arm that gives you a high basic attack for a 4 star pull arm and has Elemental Mastery as a substat. The special passive that it has. It's nothing crazy, but it does give you an attack boost up to 32% at refinement 5, which is nothing to scoff at for 12 seconds. And the last two more budget pull arms that I would recommend is the Favonius Lance or the Prototype Star Glitter. The Favonius Lance does give more basic attack and have a better passive for generating energy. The Prototype Star Glitter fits actually pretty well with Sino's kit. At refinement 5, Star Glitter gives you a 16% damage increase on your normal and charge attacks after every elemental skill cast. This can stack up to 2 times, meaning you'll get a 32% damage increase on your normal and charge attack damage. Sino is synergistic with many units in Genshin Impact. In my opinion, you want at least one other Electro unit with them who can battery Sino's burst while being off field. Characters like Fischl, Kujo Serra, and Kuki are all great for this. Kujo Serra at C6 providing a 60% crit damage bonus to Electro characters, while Kuki can be the healer that your team may need to keep Sino alive while he's rampaging through enemies. If you want a comfort power play, you could also pair Sino up with the Raiden Shogun, both of which complement each other very well. Raiden Shogun benefits from Sino's 80 energy cost burst, while Sino benefits from Raiden Shogun's energy generation from her Muso Ishin. Sino also loves Dendro Cores having high elemental masteries, which make him extremely deadly for proccing hyperblooms. To achieve this, we would need a good Dendro and Hydro applicator for our team. For Dendro options, everyone has the Dendro Traveler, arguably one of the best Dendro supports so far, until the Dendro Archon arrives to blow everybody out of the water. The Dendro Traveler's Elemental Burst not only applies more Dendro when it fuses with Electro, but it will also provide Elemental Mastery to the active character once the Traveler reaches Constellation 4, and the Dendro Traveler gets even better at Constellation 6. Characters that deal Dendro damage by reaction will have their Dendro damage and the corresponding elements' damage increased by 12% if they are within the Dendro Traveler's Elemental Burst Field Radius. Colony can also be a decent alternative unit, but really Dendro Traveler is just so much stronger at applying Dendro off-field. For the last piece of the puzzles, whether you want to run triple electro or add in hydro for the potential of Sino Hyperbloom teams and constant procking of electro charge, there are many strong and valuable choices of off-field damage and support that hydro characters can provide. Singsho and Yelan are mainstays into most teams and will be great here as well. Singsho especially helps provide some defensive capabilities with his elemental skill for Sino. On the other hand, Mona, Barbara, and Kokomi are all great alternative Hydro supports that has access to awesome catalyst weapons like the Thrilling Tails and the Hakushin Ring that helps to amp up Sino's damage. If you don't need a healer, go with Mona, but if you do want the healer, Barbara and Kokomi are great choices to have as they constantly apply heals while being off-field. And I saved the best for last, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Kazuha makes a great teammate for Sino, especially if you have a C2 Kazuha. C2 provides elemental mastery for the team, while Kazuha himself gives elemental skill damage to all of his teammates depending on what gets swirled, and provides constant off-field damage without stealing Dendro reactions from Sino. These are just my personal recommendations. If you have other ones, please let me know in the comments below on which other characters you think pair really well with Sino. Sinos' C1 increases his normal attack speed by 20% when he activates his burst or whenever he refreshes his burst. Sinos' C2 gives him an amping critical rate and critical damage increase every time he lands his normal attack. Each stack gives 3% crit rate and 6% crit damage and can stack up to 4 times for a maximum of 12% crit rate and 24% crit damage. Pretty strong! Sinos' C3 increases his burst talent by 3 levels, and Sinos' C4 gives Sino the ability to generate 
three elemental energy for all party members except himself for up to five times whenever he triggers an electro-based elemental reaction while in his burst state. Xenos' C5 increases his talent level by three, and Xenos' C6 gives him four stacks of Day of the Jackal whenever he goes into his burst or triggers Judication to refresh his burst duration. Whenever he hits an enemy while possessing a stack of Day of the Jackal, he will consume a stack and fire off a Dust Stalker Bolt. This allows him to rain down even more lightning for even more damage. Reading into his constellations, it seems Sino's later constellations are very unnecessary, which is great for our wallets. The best value for Sino comes from his earlier constellations from C1 to C3, just like Yelan and Raiden Shogun. Funny how that works. With all of that said though, Sino is looking to be a mighty fun addition to Genshin Impact. He's not looking to push the boundaries like Nilu, but he is coming into the game at the best possible time for any Electro characters. Speaking of Nilu though, find out what craziness she brings to the table by clicking on the video you see on screen right now.